Hello everyone, my name is Pekar Tal. I'm an English instructor and today we're covering Great Five English. We'll be covering the reading comprehension of checking and confirming. So let's begin the class. So let's begin the chapter Unit 9, Checking and Confirming. Okay, so it's more related to question tag. You know, in the exercise that, in the, in the subsequent exercise or in the exercise that follows, I've explained well, well how, you know, the rules of question tag. So again, just to reinforce, let's deal with a few rules here, which says if the statement is positive, that means the question tag is negative or it has a negative question tag, negative question tag. Similarly, statement is negative, you have a positive question tag positive question tag all right like for example let's say ram likes chocolate and it's always separated by a comma after a statement ram likes chocolate it's a positive statement remember what the rule says it will have a negative question tag so the question tag will be and we are always taking care of the verb here and the tense it's simple present all right so that's why doesn't he see ram like chocolate positive statement separated by a comma a negative question tag that is doesn't he all right and here let's say rita did not go to party separated by a comma and because it's simple past did not and it's negative statement that's why positive question tag that is did See, something as simple as this, right? And there are a few exceptions to it, which I, again, we'll talk about or have, have talked about in the uh, subsequent exercises, okay? But anyways, here, for some, something like, let's watch movie, all right? For a question tag of this nature, it's going to be, shall we, okay? Similarly, in imperative sentences, imperative sentences are those which gives orders, requests, or which gives advice or command are there imperative sentences and in, 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 in imperative sentences the rule does not apply for instance go to the library and will you and this go to the library so it's more like an order or command and it this makes it an imperative sentence that's why though it's a positive statement but still we do have a positive question tag here for imperative sentences why because it's imperative sentence now keeping these things in mind let's continue the exercise that follows all right i want you to observe the picture right here see checking and confirming so let's begin checking and confirming ask and answer observe the picture first of all okay i always wanted to be a vivid observer here so we observe the picture and now we read today is sunday look at that today is sunday isn't it positive statement negative question tag all right today is sunday isn't it no it isn't similarly we are all students aren't we look at the auxiliary here we are all students comma aren't we yes we are you did not come yesterday you did not come or you didn't come yesterday has a comma did you no i didn't positive statement you'll come tomorrow won't you yes i will you walk to school don't you no, I don't. Again, see? Says going abroad isn't say. Yes, she is. So there's all a question tag rules here that follows. Now, observe the picture first of all. And then we chant. All right, there's a short poem here. They pick up the plastic bags. Who are they with the rags? They pick up the disposed bottle. Look, they do it at full throttle. Oftentimes, they go a hungry sleep. And all through the night, they weep. They look at the cars and the buildings so high. Look around, friends, they are there nearby. Whatever are they, wherever are they, they are our brothers, aren't they? Okay, a very short chant. This possibly talks about, what do you think the, 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 this poem is talking about? It's definitely is talking about uh, the street boys, all right, who are the homeless boys and girls, who you see sometimes picking up the plastic and garbages. Now, based on this particular poem, hey, consider these questions now it says what do they collect what do they collect now to answer it you'll have to read the poem again of course they pick up the plastic bags who are they with the rags 
They pick up the disposed bottle. Look, they do it at full throttle. So the answer lies right there. They, they collect the plastic bags and the disposed bottle. They collect the plastic bags and the disposed bottle. See, very simple question and very easy answer. Why do they whip at night? Why do, see whip means to cry. Why do they whip at night? See the poem says, they look at the cars and the buildings so high. Look around friends, they are there nearby. Whatever they are, wherever they are, or wherever are they, they are our brothers on stay. Of course the answer is not there, but look at this particular line. Oftentimes they go a hungry sleep and all through the night they weep. So why do you think they weep? They weep at night because they sleep without eating any food. Or you can write as the poem says, because they go a hungry sleep. They go a hungry sleep. You can also see there's so many answers you can have because they sleep in hunger. See? So this is there are these are the answers to these questions. Remember the answers always lie in the passage or in the poem. Now let's continue further. Okay. Look at the picture and say a visit to Bridastrum. Okay. And at the same time I, I would want you to consider these two questions. Who are they? And number two, what are they talking about? What are they talking about? Who are they? What are they talking about? All right. Now let's read these passes. But before that, just observe the picture. And one more thing you can do is write what you see in the picture. Just write it down. Just write down what you observe in the picture. What you see or observe in the picture. You are free to write. There's no any hard and fast rule in this question. Just write what you see. I just want you to write. And you're free to write. And now let's begin the passes. A visit to Bridastram. That Saturday morning, Sunena woke up early and went straight to the Pasipati Bidasram. Namaskar, Ama. Namaskar, Ba. She greeted the elderly people. They were very happy to see her again and welcomed her with their smile. Look at that. They, are very ha they were very happy to see her again, meaning that it was not the first time she had been to Bidasram. They know the little girl who she is. Soon she was busy in different things. She helped the cook prepare food. She bought some fruits and gave them away. She collected their dirty clothes and did the washing. After the meal in the afternoon, the sun was pretty hot. She helped them to take bath. Some of them were so old that they could not even take bath themselves. She then took a broom and swept the rooms, the stairs and the yards. She tended the flower vase and the garden and watered them. When everything was over, she sat with them and talked about their families and past life. Mostly, they talked about God and their life after death. See, this is what perhaps elderly people talk about most of the time. About God and life after death. Something, alright, whose experience none of us have, by the way. And none of us recall. But yet, somehow we believe, right? She returned home late in the evening. She was a bit tired. But in her mind, she was really happy. She had spent yet another day working for a good cause. She was happy because she had spent a wonderful day for a good cause. She helped those old people, elderly people. Sunena is only 13 and studies in grade 7. Whenever she has a day off, she goes to the Bridastrum and works for them all the day. The people at the Bridastrum love her as their own daughter. I love elderly people because I see God in them, says she. So that's what she says. Hey, why do why does she help elderly people? Because she says she sees God in those elderly people. She sounds very happy that she's been helping those elderly people. That's a very novel cause. Maybe when you have time, maybe you can do something equally good. Maybe you can help some other people. The core message here is helping others, right? Living a life for others. At least you spend a day taking care of other people, which is wonderful, which is remarkable. Now it says number A, read and do. Make a list of things Sunena did at the Bridastram. Now you've got to read the passage for this and I want you to start the answer like this. The list of 
things Sunena did at the Vridhastram are as follows. Now, number one, the book itself helps you with have the cook prepare food. Now, see, th that's just one of the activities which she does at Vridhastram. Now, to do the rest, you'll obviously have to read the passage and list down, you know, give number two and write down all the work which she has done at the Vridhastram. Let's continue further. Find the words that mean the following. Across, down. Across means, here you go, it's horizontal. Down means, it goes like this. This is across. Down means, like this. This is vertical. Okay? And, of course, find out the words that mean the following. What you need here is a dictionary. And with the help of a dictionary, this exercise is very easy. Of course, uh, you can also have mobile dictionary or, you know, all those offline dictionaries. You obviously, you can take help of those. Now, I'll just do one to you. The rest, you can figure it out yourself, I'm pretty sure. I'm, in fact, I'm sure you'll enjoy figuring, out, figuring it out yourself. Now, find the words that mean the following. Across direct. Now, see? I already see a word here. And that will be direct straight. See? Now, let's go for one vertical now. To make ready down so to make ready do you see any i see one already here you go to make ready is there you go prepare all right so with the help of dictionary this exercise is very simple and you can obviously do the rest now let's continue further all right number c write short answers now the question asks why was Sunena happy at the end. Remember, all the answers lie right in the passes. Right in the passes. Always take care of the auxiliary verb when you answer it. Okay? Now, I'm going to answer this one to you. Sunena, S-U-N-A-Y-E. Sunena was, we put was as it is, was happy at the end because she had spent yet another day working for a good cause. And indeed, if your intention is right, all right, when you work for a good cause, you always become happy. I wanted to observe this without missing the truth. If you work something that you know is of value for something that you really enjoy or something that's really good, you feel happy. Number two. Now, this I wanted to do it yourself. Why does he like elderly people? And finally, number third. Now, there's your own answer here. Do you like Sunena? It says, why? Do you like Sunena? Give a view. That is like, express your view. Why do you like Sunena then? All right. It's just entirely your answer. Of course, you are even free to say no, but do clarify your answer. Why no? No, I do not like Sunena. I don't like Sunena because instead of going to elderly people's house, all right. I'd rather spend a day reading a novel or reading a book. Or I'd rather spend a day uh, going somewhere out with my family. You can have many reasons. It's not necessary that you have to like Sunaina. But as long as you give a good justification, your answer is always correct. Now, number six, it says word power. The following adjectives are used to describe persons. Put them under the right heading. Now, here are the adjectives, remember? Uh, or, or describing word, okay? Like, here are the adjectives. Happy, cruel, faithful, helpful, hardworking, quarrelsome, busy, friendly, intelligent, honest, dirty, dishonest, and social. So, all the adjectives are given here, and our task is to put them under the right heading. So, what is the heading then? All right, so to know the heading, let's move ahead. Now, on one side, we have good person, good person. On the, on the other column, we have bad person, good person, and bad person. Now, a very simple task has to be done, and that is, that is, we just have to put this under the right heading. Like, for instance, see, good person is always happy. Remember, we are using these same adjectives here, all these words, we're using these words, and we're putting them all these words and if we don't know the meaning of course here's the big deal if we don't know the meaning of these words please you refer to the dictionary 
all right, and get to know the meaning. And once you know the meaning, you can put these adjectives under the proper heading, whether it's under good person or under bad person. Now, all these adjectives always define the noun, all right? They're the describing word. They always define the noun, gives clear meaning to the noun. So happy, good person, they're always happy. Hey, on the other hand, I'm just going to... Uh, cruel, hey, bad person, they're cruel. Similarly, good person, they're always hardworking. Bad person, they're always dishonest. So this way, just figure out the words and put them under the current heading. This you can certainly do it as a homework or maybe you can do it in the classroom itself. Let's read this. Let's read an act. All right. So as we do this, one of you can take the role of a teacher, the other can take the role of the children. And again, you, 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 know, you give chance to your friends. The next person can take the role of a teacher and again, the next person can take the role of the children. So let's read an act. And of course, observe the picture as always. Teacher, good morning, children. Good morning, sir. Teacher, how's everything with you? Children, very well. We're having a new lesson today, aren't we, sir? Again, a question tag here. Let's keep on reminding ourselves about the, we are. This is a contraction of we are. We're having a new lesson today, aren't we, sir? We are. It's positive. That's my negative statement. Aren't we, sir? Teacher, yes, you are. You like drama. Again, question tag. You like positive statement, negative question tag. You like drama, don't you? Yes, we do. Teacher, so we are having a drama lesson today. Is that okay? Very good, sir. Teacher, so now let's begin. Okay, sir. See, this is how question tag is often used in our writing. So, of course, those questions, remember, you can do those questions at home. And, of course, if you have confusion with the words, get the help of the dictionary. Thank you very much. And if you have any queries, feel free to email us at learning at dearwalk.edu.nb. Thank you.